we're asked to find the antiderivative of the given function, which means we need to determine the indefinite integral of the given function. But we can't do that in its current form. There is no quotient rule for integration, which means we have to divide the polynomial in the numerator by the monomial in the denominator. So we divide each term of the polynomial by x to the fifth. The given function is equal to two x to the seventh divided by x to the fifth plus three x to the fifth divided by x to the fifth plus five x to the fourth divided by x to the fifth and minus x divided by x to the fifth. And now we'll simplify each quotient using the quotient property of exponents which is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So the given function is equal to two x to the seventh divided by x to the fifth, which is two x squared. The exponent on x is two because seven minus five is two. And then we have plus three x to the fifth divided by x to the fifth. x to the fifth divided by itself simplifies to one, leaving us with just plus three. And then we have plus five x to the fourth divided by x to the fifth, which is five x to the power of negative one. Notice four minus five is negative one. And then we have minus x to the first divided by x to the fifth, which is x to the power of one minus five, which is negative four. And now we can determine the indefinite integral of the given function. We have the integral of two x squared plus three plus five x to the power of negative one minus x to the power of negative four. The antiderivative of two x squared is equal to two times x to the third divided by three, plus the antiderivative of three is three x, plus the antiderivative of five x to the power of negative one. Remember five x to the power of negative one is equal to five divided by x. Looking at the integral formulas below, the integral of one over x is equal to natural log apps of i of x plus c, and therefore the antiderivative of five x to the power of negative one is five natural log apps of i of x. And then we have minus the antiderivative of x to the power of negative four, which is x to the power of negative four plus one, which is negative three divided by negative three, and then we have plus c. Let's go ahead and simplify. Let's write this first term as two thirds x cubed, then we have plus three x, plus five natural log absolute value of x. Here we have minus and then a negative, which simplifies to plus one third x to the power of negative three plus c. And now we have the antiderivative. I hope you found this helpful.